Hello, welcome to the course. And this is a brand new course, um, uh, PHY 1020, uh, Conceptual Physics. And here's the course website. And uh, as you can see, the name of the course is also wrong here, but um, we just started this course this semester. So um, I guess um, we will have some, uh, some issues, but we'll get it fixed. Anyway, so here's the course website, and what I'm going to do you do is walk you through this course, uh, this course website. So let's go in here. All right. Um, so if you go to the contents link, there's the course syllabus, and um, um, let me point out a couple of things in the course syllabus. Um, you can read the course syllabus but let me point out a couple of things uh, so what what we are doing in this course is this is a conceptual physics course will will not do a whole lot of math what we'll do is we'll learn concepts in physics and apply them to healthcare examples I guess so that's the emphasis of the course uh, all the physics concepts we learn will mostly apply to the healthcare fields okay uh, so you, here are some of the things you'll learn, yeah, but you can read all of that. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, so here is the textbook for the course. And we'll cover about, about 10 chapters from this textbook. Okay, and let me show you where the textbook is. Here is the textbook. Okay, so physics with healthcare science applications. Okay. Uh, we'll cover 10, about 10 chapters from this uh, book okay so now going back to the contents area okay what I'm doing is I'm making chapter notes okay I've made about seven chapter notes and I'll post them here all right so and I will record lectures on these chapters so I'll start putting the recordings uh, over the weekend okay so maybe you can review these slides and then watch my lecture as well and each chapter, I will uh, make an exam, and all the exam questions will be based on information in the slides. Okay, so if you read the slides and if you watch the lecture, you should be able to do well on the exams. Okay, now uh, some chapters are longer and others are not as long, so it depends on the length of the chapter how many questions were there will be on the exams. Okay, but uh, on each chapter there will be an exam and I will put the exams, place the exams here in the quizzes and I'll start doing this this weekend okay also I'll put my lec I'll put lecture recordings on my YouTube channel alright alright so there is enough material in the course website to get you started um, and uh, I will populate uh, the course with more documents like I said I've got seven notes for seven chapters ready and uh, we'll probably cover about ten chapters all right so uh, again going back here again the title of the course has to be fixed it's really conceptual physics that's the title of the course but like I said this is a new course and so there are a few kinks that we have to work out okay uh, oh, by the way, my name is Gajendra Tulsian. Uh, here's my website. There's my office telephone number. There's my cell phone number. And um, uh, my email address is gajendra.tulsian at daytonastate.edu. And so you can contact me either via email or text me, um, and I'll get back to you. As soon as I can okay um, let's see is there anything else all right so that's it uh, hopefully that'll get you started and um, uh, send me an email if you have any questions and also if you want a zoom meeting I'm happy to do a zoom meeting as well I will post my office hours soon and um, okay so I will post here's my website and uh, I will post my office hours there, okay? 
uh, right now there's I'll fix this tonight and uh, we'll I'll post my office hours there okay so again welcome to the course and um, I hope you enjoy the class thank you